here's a video <laughs> by YouTube user Pain called 10 Reasons Why Genshin is Better Than Withering Waves, posted eight days ago, which means it was just before Withering Waves. I'm very excited to watch this. Hello, YouTube. Welcome in. I hope you're having a good day. I've been streaming daily Withering Waves content on twitch.tv forward slash hex underscore juice. Please come join us. We're having a lovely time learning the game together. I am going the slow route. I am not speed running. And I'd love to hear your thoughts and have a fun time with you. Come put me on your second monitor. <laughs> Subscribe. In this video, I will explain 10 reasons why. Is this another fucking AI voice? These fucking AI voice creators lose their minds every time. Genshin is way better than Wuthering Waves, and it's just Genshin copy. If you say Genshin is Zelda copy in 2024, you're an idiot. Genshin made the Zelda style way better. And if anyone makes NMSL graphics, they say Genshin copy, not Zelda copy number one. Genshin has better graphics. Genshin graphics is just way more crispier compared to Wuthering Waves. Also, Genshin art style. I'm sorry, I'm having a really hard listening to this. Holy shit. Oh my god. Wow, 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 wow. I'm gonna have captions on because I feel like I can't, I can't, I feel like I can't understand what he's saying. Whatever voice AI you're using, use a different one. Please, God, please use a different TTS. This one is so bad. In this video, I will explain 10 reasons why Genshin is way better than Wuthering Waves, and uh -huh. it's just Genshin copy. If you say Genshin is Zelda copy in 2024, you're an idiot. Genshin made the Zelda style way better. And if anyone makes uh -huh. NMSL graphics, they say Genshin copy, not Zelda copy number one. Genshin has better graphics. Genshin graphics is just way more crispier compared to Wuthering Waves. Also, Genshin art style. No, that's not true. Uh, the, the graphics in Wuthering Waves are significantly better than in Genshin. And the evidence I have for that is, uh, I mean, this, whatever, like, four pixel shit you have on my screen right now. But additionally, the, the engine is completely different. It's a Unity versus an Unreal Engine. Objectively, Unreal Engine has better graphics than Unity, just at base. If you look at Genshin next to Wuthering Waves, it is just, Wuthering Waves is just better. You might prefer the art style of Genshin Impact, but the actual graphics are like not even comparable. Maybe you like the art style, but the graphics, no. Best you know. Graphics, Genshin graphics is just way more crispier compared to Wuthering Waves. Also, Genshin art style is way better than some apocalyptic art number two Genshin. I prefer the apocalyptic art style better. I think it's more, it's easier on the eyes. It makes the character's abilities pop a lot more when they are bright and um, it is a lot more mature. If you prefer your games to look like childlike, you know, pastel vomit, that's you. I prefer different things. It doesn't make it objectively better. Jin has better character. Uh -huh. Designs Wuthering Waves character designs are trash. Like everyone looks the same lol the character designs are so bland compared to Genshin so Genshin just has better character designs number 3 Gen Okay so uh more stuff on the screen does not necessarily equal better more colors doesn't necessarily equal better like that's that's incredibly subjective but just your the justification is just like is more colorful has more stuff on it is better that's a Matter of preference, again, I like Wuthering Wave style, especially for the male characters. If you prefer, you know, the more cartoony, childish sort of art style of Genshin Impact, you are allowed to have that opinion. I personally like Wuthering Waves because it feels like it respects me as an adult. Genshin Element system is just way better compared to Wuthering Waves system. Yeah, if you're bad at video games, absolutely, I agree with this. If you are shit at video games and you don't like to have to think about how you play, 100% yes, I agree. The elemental system in Genshin will be better for you. I think it's shit <laughs> because it just, it simplifies the game and standardizes the game down really low. Because ultimately in Genshin, it kind of don't really matter what every individual character does. Are their numbers high enough to be worth putting in this team? And is it an element that does the big damage when put with the other element? And um, it creates a lot of restriction in team building where not having the elemental system 
simplifies gameplay in a way, but adds like significant complexity. It's both, it's simple, but it's harder. It's very hard to explain, but yeah. It's better if you're shit at games and you don't want to learn how to play and you don't want to actually have to actively pay attention to what you're looking at. Absolutely. If you want more complex combat, elemental reaction systems are worse. Which is trash number for Wuthering Waves gameplay is trash and clunky compared to Genshin Genshin which has no. smooth gameplay number five story. No, it doesn't. Sorry. Uh, You can like the way Genshin plays. Smooth gameplay, Genshin Impact. Bestie, is this the only game you've ever played? Let's ignore Withering Waves. And I just like to focus on this concept that Genshin has smooth and not clunky gameplay. The animations in Genshin are so crazy fucking clunky. The way that you traverse the world is super duper clunky. Like it literally feels like moving through molasses. The way the endurance system works in Genshin Impact is super clunky. Ignoring Wuthering Waves and the fact that that game traversal is a dream and combat is very smooth and engaging and very fun. In no way compared to any other game does Genshin Impact have this like smooth, like buttery gameplay. Like this is a no. Simply no. Simply no. Simply no. Very Wuthering Waves story is trash even after they revamped 90% of the story lol Genshin story is way better number six open Genshin story is way better if you're a child yeah I'll give you a point that the beginning of the Wuthering Wave story is is pretty poopy I'm gonna be honest but that's also one point yeah 1.0 of Genshin is is not good either <laughs> and yeah and it's had four years like it's been developing over time it's got a lot of lore at this point but 1.0 of Genshin was not that good either primarily to me the issue with Wuthering Waves at the beginning of the game is the voice acting it's very hard to get through especially if you listen if you listen in Ian it's very difficult Genshin is in 4.6 Wuthering Waves is in 1.0 it released a week ago and real Realistically, the vast majority of Genshin's story is baby shit that is uh, retold over and over. It's just the same sentence sort of cycled through the characters and then spit out by Paimon. Parts of Wuthering Wave's story is very rough. I think a lot of it is voice acting. The end of Wuthering Wave's story is very, very good. And again, this is a personal preference. You're saying it like it's objective. Very weird. The world of Genshin is way better compared to apocalyptic world of Wuthering Waves and Wuthering Ways open world will get boring in no time. Can I just say no? Is that okay? For me, the experience of like the beginning of Genshin versus the experience of Wuthering Waves, I loved playing Genshin when I first started playing it for sure. Like that open world is very fun. It gets very old very quickly. Realistically, the open world in Genshin is very desolate. There's not a lot that is in the Genshin open world that has a lot of meaning. There's not a lot of reason to run around. I'm just gonna teleport to where I need to go and be mad that I have to walk the rest of the way where for me I like in Wuthering Waves it's the echoes because in Wuthering Waves literally any enemy you come by could be the the echo that unlocks the character that you're playing you know like you could just be walking around for no reason and just hit an echo and get like the god echo that makes your character super good. Where there's not a lot of reasons other than farming for a character build to walk around Genshin's open world. It's not rewarding. It doesn't feel that good comparatively because the traversal in Genshin is very poor, like the climbing and all of that. You can dislike the art style of an apocalyptic world if you just like grass and mint go off, I guess. But objectively, the open world and Wuthering Waves is a lot more satisfying. There's a lot more reasons to look, go through it and be in it and play around in there. Just walking around in Wuthering Waves is very worth it. And I think the world is very beautiful. If you prefer the art style, that's you. The open world in Wuthering Waves is like, it's objectively better designed. It's the whole game. It's much better. Sorry. No, no. The answer is no. But Genshin just has different type of regions with different type of open world like desert, island, snow. Underwater swimming with Fontaine release, etc. Number seven. Does it? Does anybody like swimming in Fontaine? I've never done that. <laughs> is swimming in Fontaine super fun? Because my understanding is it's clunky as fuck. I think for me, I like Wuthering Waves because it does feel like a cohesive world. Because there are definitely different parts of Wuthering Waves, right? Like there's kind of like a red sort of fire area. Like there's 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 different areas in 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 Wuthering Waves as well. 
but they they feel like they're cohesively part of the same world where Genshin it goes like the the areas to me they're so different they're so dissimilar the color schemes the architecture the, the everything is so different from place to place it feels like a theme park where I'm going from like this park in Disney to this park in Disney where for me Wuthering Waves feels like a cohesive world where there are definitely distinctive areas but it's all the same place which I prefer and again I just find the open world in Genshin very empty and there's not a lot of reason to actually walk around if you farmed things where you could have all of your areas and Wuthering Waves at 100% and there's still plenty of things to go do and reasons to walk around like the open world is a lot more engaging there's it, it continuously has content where Genshin has like a distinct stopping period of like you've what, farmed 100% you've mint picked this you're done number seven gotcha wuthering gotcha is trash too and it's similar to Genshin so can't really say anything better about that number eight future of the weapon banner the game while wuthering ways is getting hyped now the game lose its hype later just like Tower of Fantasy, but Genshin is So, yeah, games lose hype over time. That's what happened. You'll see that this had a very distinct drop from October to November. That do be, that do be what happened. Yeah, we'll look at Honkai Star Rail. Wouldn't you know? <laughs> actually, Honkai Star Rail had a drop and is actually getting bigger. That's pretty cool. Look at her go! Sheesh! This is a rising star. Look at her. Sheesh! Let's see Wuthering Waves. Just out of curiosity. That's, I mean, it's pretty good. It's bigger than Honkai Star Rail at release, no? I don't know. I think this is irrelevant. Uh, games over time lose hype. That is what happens. Genshin does not have the same hype as when it released, and it doesn't have the same hype as two years ago or one year ago. Still going strong after three plus years, even if Wuthering Waves survived, it still had to complete with Genshin number nine fanbase. Genshin just has a huge fanbase with 60 million plus active players. Uh -huh. So I don't think Wuthering Waves can reach that much level. The only players are idiots who quit or move from Genshin. To play that Starbucks version of Genshin number 10 comp- The Starbucks version of Genshin? Starbucks is for rich people! What the fuck are you talking about?! Maybe it has 60 million players. I don't know if that's accurate. I don't know that we should be bragging about the size and quality of the Genshin Impact community. Bigger community does not in fact equal better, but I don't know that that's really the gotcha that you think it is, because the Genshin Impact community I think is known by every other gaming community as being fucking unbearable. So maybe it's 60 million people, but like a good percentage of that. Not everybody. Some, they're, they're, they're the good ones within the Genshin Impact community. But uh, there are, there's a large amount of Genshin Impact community members that are absolutely unbearably annoying, unwell, and bizarre. Even if Weathering Waves become successful, uh -huh. and can reach level to compete with Genshin, it will only make Genshin better overall. Like for Star Rail, they have competition in turn based genre. Yeah, people have been saying that. That's not like a reason that Genshin is better. That's just true. Competition within the free market means that products are improved. So they give better rewards, gameplay, etc. So Wuthering Waves is just a tool to make Genshin even better. But I doubt it will happen because Wuthering Waves might flop that Hoyover might not even take them as competition anyways. That's the- So that argument was that even if Weathering Waves did well, it's still going to help Genshin in the long run, so it's worse. But probably not. Wowee! Um, but yeah, I see why that dislike ratio is like that. Okay, well, um, let me know. What was your favorite point out of all of these? I feel like my brain- has atrophied significantly in the time that I've watched this video. Have a good day. Come join us on Twitch, YouTube. We'd love to have you. You're looking very handsome, by the way, YouTube frog. See you later. Goodbye.